Have you just tried to open up a game or a program and something like this showed up? Well, that's called a missing DLL error and sucks because it won't let you start up your program unless you can somehow provide the exact DLL file which is missing to the said program. But don't throw your PC out the window yet, cause we got you covered. Before we start with the solution, we wanted to give you a short introduction into the problem itself. Your error message indicates that the program you've opened is trying to use a specific function or functionality of one of the C programming languages. These functions are saved within these DLL files and are stored in a folder somewhere within your Windows. Now what happens if the file that stores the function that your program needs is missing? and won't even try to start and just hit you up with an error message. Usually this should not happen because programs will install the DLL files which they need, but that's simply not always the case. Now before you panic, we can fix the issue, we can just install the DLL file ourselves and by doing so, making the program run again. Unfortunately, the DLL file that we will install exists in a 64 and 32 bit version. Now you do not need to know what this means, but you need to know what type of Windows system you are using. To find that information, just right click on your Windows symbol in the taskbar and choose system. Now in this window, search for the line saying system type and look for the number right next to bit. Just keep in mind if the text is saying 32 or 64 bit, because we will need that information in a minute. So now we can download the DLL. For that, just head over to our website. The link will be in the description and in the i symbol in the upper right corner. Here, just scroll a bit down to the download section where you'll need to choose according to your system. If you have a 32-bit Windows, download the 32-bit file. If you have a 64-bit system, download both the 32 and the 64-bit file. After downloading the files, open them up and keep track which is which because both the 32 and 64 bit file have the exact same name. Now we need to open up the explorer and head over to the main PC, then our C drive and then into the windows folder. Here scroll all the way down until we can see a folder called system32 and syswell64. Here now for every 32 bit windows user you need to drag your 32-bit file into the system32 folder. The 64-bit users need to drag their 64-bit file into the system32 folder and the 32-bit file into the syswell64 folder. But in order to be sure that the DLL file will be loaded as it should, just restart your PC, just in case. After the restart of your operating system, you should be able to play the game or use the program that you wanted to play or use. But in some cases, the program just doesn't want to recognize the DLL. For this case, we got you covered with a second method which should cover your issue and make your machine run as you want it to. Just click in the eye icon in the upper right corner or look for the link in the description and follow the other tutorial. For those whose error did get solved, make sure to leave a like and if you want to get more out of our content, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification button to never miss a new video. And as always, thank you for watching and have a look at these not totally random videos which may be interesting for you.